Hi everyone, a cleaning video with a voiceover this time because I felt like a few things in this video needed some explanation Now here you see me cleaning the sink because I'm going to clean the fridge and I will be using the sink as my bucket with cleaning detergents which in this case is um, silver soda which is sodium carbonate Sodium carbonate is different from sodium bicarbonate because sodium bicarbonate is baking soda but this sodium carbonate is really great for cleaning the fridge because it helps remove grease and smells and the fridge always feels very very clean after I clean it with sodium carbonate as you can see I have my gloves on like always because my hands get really dry when I have them in water with cleaning detergent a lot so that's why I wear them I have green ones and I also have yellow ones the yellow ones are for the toilet well, I think the cleaning of the fridge itself is pretty self-explanatory. I turn the fridge off and then I take all the products out. Then I clean it very thoroughly and then I put everything back in and I clean the outside of the fridge if necessary. Here I am drying the fridge so I can put the products back immediately after cleaning. I don't have to wait till it dries, I do dry it with a clean rag. After I put all the products back into the fridge, I turn it back on and then it's time to wash the drawers of the fridge. So I am washing them with a little bit of dish soap and a brush. It's time to clean the toilet and I'm starting by cleaning the door entirely this time. I don't always do that but every once in a while I feel like it's good to clean the entire door. I always do clean the door handle and other contact points like the light switch and things like that. Here are the yellow gloves that I was talking about that I'm using for the toilets and the toilet area only. In my bucket is hot water and all-purpose cleaner and uh, I started by using a black and white rag as you saw and here I'm switching to a pink cloth because I didn't want to use the same cloth that I used to clean the door for the sink so I switched and then I have another rag for the floor. I am emptying the bucket with hot water and cleaning the church into the toilets. Now I would do this anyway to get rid of the water of course. But also this way I can use the detergent that was in the water to clean the inside of the toilet. So I don't have to use a separate cleaning detergent for that area. Now normally this would be it for cleaning the toilets. But I recently got this toilet cleaner tab from a friend to try. It is a citric acid based product and it is for areas that is hard for the brush to approach to clean. So I tried it uh, to see if it works and um, I'll talk more about it in a second but here you see me cleaning the bucket that I used to clean the toilet with I am cleaning it with my sponge for dirty jobs and a little bit of dish soap so I clean it very thoroughly, I rinse it, I also rinse the sponge with really hot water 
also the outside of the buckets and after that I wash my gloves and I clean the sink. Now I did like the toilet cleaner tap but our apartment has been rented to many people for years and I think well, most of them <laughs> didn't really clean the toilet in that area. So it has stains in limescale for from years. And uh, maybe if I would repeatedly use those toilet cleaner tabs, it would really clean up the area. So I would have to try that. Here I'm cleaning the floor, starting with our bedroom. And at first I sweep and after that I mop the floor. And I'm using water and all-purpose cleaner from Lidl today. It's time to deep clean the kitchen and as you can see it's pretty messy well not that messy but it's pretty messy i start by taking the dishes to the dishwasher and then i am cleaning the sink because that is going to be my bucket first i'm washing some dishes by hand a few plastic bags also that i want to reuse and this is just hot water and dish soap and after this i will um, fill the sink again with water and then i will be adding some groene zeep which is a very mild soap that you can use as an all-purpose cleaner or to remove stains from clothes and other things it's really versatile I do clean the kitchen every day, but this is really a more of a deep clean and I also clean the windowsill and I would clean the tiles, but they were pretty clean, so I didn't clean them today. Uh, and also the stove and the uh, kettle. And when I clean the kitchen, the daily kitchen cleaning, it, it's just the countertops, the tap and the sink and the stove if necessary. Now here's more floor cleaning, sweeping and mopping and here's my husband with our son. And I did clean the floors a little bit on Friday and then the rest on Saturday. 
And when it comes to the other things that you saw in this video, I cleaned the fridge and the toilet on Wednesday and I did clean the kitchen on Saturday this week. And usually I would clean a few more things, but this was pretty much its full cleaning for this week because I had a lot of laundry and I did the laundry on Thursday, which was a lot of folding and a lot of ironing. And I will make that into a laundry special, so you will see that somewhere in next week, I think. But uh, yeah, the laundry had, piled, had been piling up because my son was sick the previous week and he wanted to be with me what felt for what felt like 24-7. So I didn't have much opportunity to fold laundry, but um, I did it on Thursday and you will see that very soon in another video. So this is it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, well, I will see you next time. Bye!